Hey guys, Nick Corbett here. Uh, on social media, you'll probably know me as Liquid Existence on Instagram and uh, YouTube. Uh, but today I'm here to talk about uh, my boat, the Nitro Z17 uh, 2017 model. And it's powered by 115 horsepower Pro Access Mercury with command thrust. Uh, the motor uh, it has a 22 um, pitch prop, tempest prop on it. And the good thing about this motor is that it really gets the fiberglass up onto the plane very very quick uh, when i got it i was first thing i was amazed with um, kicking it over too sounds like you've got a v8 uh, behind you so it's quite a nice feeling uh, the motor gets serviced by disco marine so thanks jason and sean uh, just recently they sent me a letter saying that uh, it's time for a service and you know i've messaged you sean so i'll be in there in a few weeks time so what i'll do now i'll grab my old man letter and get up into the boat. Well, that is as old as me, I think. Okay. So in the back here, we've got two batteries for the the trolling motor, which are um, well, they're all Century batteries, um, 115 amp hours. I uh, just want to thank um, Rick Goff from Big River Batteries for helping us out with the batteries there. Really appreciate it, Goffy. Um, and we've also got just a, uh, a pro charge up there as well, if you can see that. And uh, yeah, that really gets a, a, the batteries juiced up. In the next one here, off to the side, <coughs> we just have um, basically my wet weather gear, spare change of dry stuff in the dry bag. Um, and also these trays can take D400 series Polano boxes if you wish to, to put them in there. Um, I tend not to, but you could if you, if you wanted to. Other side is very similar in the way of the you put tackle boxes in. Uh, so basically I just have some jumpers, um, anchor, buckets, that kind of stuff. Really exciting in there. In the middle here we have the live well. The live well, um, compared to the last boat I had, is good in the fact that uh, it's not a cable, it's just pump in, pump out with a plug. Uh, Usually with the cable and fishing in salt water all the time, the cables do tend to seize up over about four or five years. So um, having the pump out option and the plugs a lot more better. Okay, moving through to I guess the seats holder for the storage. Um, basically, my iPilot uh, remote there, torch, sunglasses, sunscreen. The other side, I just really have a, a rag in there. Nothing exciting, but obviously people could put stuff in there and. On the tournament day, uh, I have a HES Carbon 9 at the, at the helm, and I also have a HES 9 Live at the bow. Uh, they are um, con Ethernet connected, so basically, especially when I'm deep fishing, uh, you, generally with, with some plastics, I like to sort of bounce off the two transducers and see you know the difference in, in uh, structure and, and picking up the fish within that structure. Um, so moving forward there, you just have your standard uh, ice cooler, you know, I just end, end up most things uh, trashy going there. Up to the side here, I have the rod lockers. I generally have about 12 or 15 rockers on, uh, rods on me at any time. I do um, get about up to about 7 foot 2 rods in there. Uh, I don't think you'd get much more than that in there, but 7 foot 2 is comfortable. Most people that do know me know that I do a lot of plasticking. Um, so yeah, I do tend to use a lot of the Eco Gear Aqua Rim Bronze. Um, but also, I don't mind throwing a chubby and things like that as well. So um, I have my um, liquid containers there, um, culling gear, scissors, all the rest. Cranker crabs over in the far black container. And um, yeah, that, that's pretty much me and, and um, what I need for brim fishing. If I come over to this locker here, it's really just um, a couple of buoys, uh, our um, life jackets, fire extinguisher. In the in the tournaments, um, on tournament day, I will end up putting a lot more tackle in that side. Um, obviously, I don't want to run out something halfway through comp day. Um, so yeah, I'll have a few trays of extra things just sitting in there just in case.
Moving up the front here, we've got the Victor Rover 80 pound thrust. Um, I've also, with this, done a few customised bits and pieces thanks to GJR Sheet Metal, Glen Ryder in Grafton. Um, so, re really just to stop the, the transducer cable from tangling. So, we've got two, two arms there, stainless steel arms. And we've also got the 3 in 1 transducer mounted down there. Um, it works really well. And um, it's, it's great to, like I said before, to see transducer um, at the front and the back and look at the bottom to, to pick up that uh, difference in, in structure and country. Uh, the HCS 9 Live's Unreal. Um, you know, just that little bit clearer than new models now. And it's also sitting on something that Glenn made me as well. Um, just like a basic sounder bracket. Um, yeah, so the other thing is it also has your Minko foot pedal. has a spotlight button there. It's probably the, the main thing that got upgraded between the old one and the new one. Um, I do tend to use the hand control um, most of the time. And, um, yeah, but the, having the foot pedal is also very handy. I have to also say that Glenn done a bit of customised work on the trailer, uh, so once again, um, thanks Glenn for that. So that's my boat. See you later guys.